y'all? I'm Shadow Session. S H double A D O H S E S S I O N. I am from Jacksonville, Florida, Duval County. Okay? Duval. Suicide has crossed my mind tonight. Fall in and out of love with you a million times. Jacksonville is a place that is very crowded, um, very diverse. However, it's so many people there, and it's so many hidden talent there, too. Um, so if I could describe it, it would be very crowded and very unique. There's so many people um, from Jacksonville, from your surfers to your people who are boho, like style, indie um to people who are like just different types of people there's like so many different types of people there from jacksonville like people look at me and they say you from jacksonville and i say hell yeah i'm from jacksonville florida born and raised okay. Okay. <laughs> the most influential artist in r&b um very successful i love janet i love janet jackson janet jackson is my girl oh Oh, oh, I practiced that for years, okay? Janet Jackson is very phenomenal. She has outstanding records, very popular music. She is MVP. Like, when she posts on Instagram, I be, like, right there. Like, oh, my God, Janet. You know what I mean? I like watching her old videos. I like her, her she's the most influential artist um, especially in the pop R&B section um, she's, she's awesome um, and I, I mean if I see her I'm just gonna scream to the top of my lungs first probably silently first I'll just, I'll just scream silently so currently my thoughts in the music industry is that it is so new new artists pop up all the time the industry is just constantly changing constantly so there's a lot of people that work really hard in the music industry and those people are slow to get the praise sometimes and then you have those on the other side of the music industry that are just lucky and they just go viral overnight over tiktok i mean kudos to them right because that's everyone's goal to just make it right but i think the music industry is changing um in so many ways in so many ways so it's just like if you're if you're not now music if you don't make now music it's gonna be really hard for you to kind of get a fan base it's gonna be hard for you to to get popping so i think the generation now i mean you really the music has to flow with the time the trends the people the hashtags the dances like if you're not with the, the tiktok dances you out of here cut it if you're not going viral, you're out of here. And I'm, that's my goal. My goal is to go viral. My goal is to build a fan base. So when it comes to my music, you will see a lot of sexuality, a lot of embracing womanly curves, shapes, figures, hair, nails, glitz, glam. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to my music, I plan to separate myself by being myself. There's only one shadow. You know what I'm saying? And other people don't look good on me. And that's what I encourage other women, you know, that are growing into womanhood. I'm 25 years old, so I'm still learning. However, I've, I've been through enough. I have my fair share of life. I give my experiences through my music. And my sound is just to inspire sexuality, inspire love, inspire beauty, inspire just everything a woman needs to hear needs to know um you know we go through our faces in life 
love, heartbreak, um, joy, you know, everything that we go through, all the thoughts that we have in our mind that men don't always understand. I just bring that out and bring it to life. That's what I do through my music. And I also try to create a vibe. So, like, every song you hear from me is a vibe. So, my style is self-inspired. Honestly, I wear and do what the hell I feel. Like, my nails, for instance. I need to get them done and filled in. But these were my show nails. I had a show uh, a couple weeks ago. So, these are my show nails. If you guys follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you guys will see, like, I had on hot ink. So my style is inspired by what looks good on me, how I feel that day, how I want to look that day. And not only that, I wear what complements my body. My style is just self-inspired. Like this top here is so grandma, right? But watch, honey. See that? Just made a whole sexy. I just turned into a sexy grandma just now. You feel what I'm saying? My style is inspired. <laughs> My style is self-inspired, hands down. I do what I want to do. I wear what I want to wear. I just have to go through this box. I don't really wear what people want me to wear. People might look at me and say, polka dots and stripes don't match. Well, guess what, damn it? It matches to me today. I like how it looks. I'm wearing it. I'm a trendsetter. I do what I want when it comes to what I want to wear. I set trends, okay? Period. I also like to shop latest fashion, like Fashion Nova, because it's easy and convenient for me. It's on the go, it's quick, it's fast. I just click it and there it comes. My size, no worries. But literally, I just like being fresh. I like lip gloss, I like curly hair, I like lashes. Sometimes I don't. So it just depends on the day, the mood, the time. I'm self-inspired. All the way, like how can you, how can you not just, and I encourage everybody to just do what the hell you want to do. Wear what you want to wear, be yourself, they can't accept you for who you are. I don't know what to say, you just keep keep moving girl. I don't even like to ask people like, what do you, like for their opinion when it comes to my fashion because I'm such a person that's confident in what I choose to put on. Um, that it doesn't matter like literally it doesn't fucking matter like I can be as sexy as I want in my grandma's shirt right now and smile and you're gonna see okay I see where she's going with that that's cute that's different that's me girl but I like to be classy and sexy at the same time so the aspect of music that excites me the most is the making listening to that beat listening to that beat hearing what direction to go to, like how to flow with that beat so yeah, shout out to my team, shout out to my management, shout out to Lewis Bryant, he makes some lovely beats, Andre Pocket makes some phenomenal beats, like, such a vibe every single time. I am so grateful, I am so grateful. Shout out to everyone, everyone who's a part of my organization, part of my team, a part of my development, artist development, everybody is so vital, so important. I enjoy the, the fundamentals of music. The beats the, and just hearing that beat and just learning, okay, what does this beat bring on? How do I want to vibe? That's my favorite part of the, of the process, listening to the beat um, and creating. Creating, developing, tuning the whole world out and zoning in when it's my time. When it's time for me to like tune the whole world out, put my phone down and just vibe, like that's my favorite part. Okay, and the part that discourages me the most when it comes to making music Honestly, like the only discouragement I've ever had was when you're like in the studio and you're making the music and you're singing and you're trying to get that track to sound what you want it to sound like. However, it it just doesn't quite hit so you have to stop what you're doing take a day off and come back to it that part right there that's pretty tough I don't know what other artists out there that have ever experienced that but I have um as a new and upcoming artist I had to like okay take a step back listen 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 come back to it and just blow it I'm sure some people have, have experienced
experience had that experience before so like yeah so like if you have a record and you're just struggling to like get your 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 sound out but I think that happens like every blue moon and yeah sometimes it, it just takes a couple tries or a couple days to just kind of like figure it out you know what I mean um, I've had that happen to me once and on one track but you know sometimes it's good to just listen to it take a breather and go back to it so that's probably the most uh, discouraging time for me when developing a, a song um, that's probably it though who would I like to work with in the future so many people I want to work with okay let's name them all Janae Aiko the dream God, I want to work with so many people. Okay, let me just name a few. Janae Aiko, The Dream, Summer fucking Walker. Bitch. Bitch. I want to work with that bitch right there. Um, Miguel. I love him. I love his music. Bruno Mars. Queen Nigel. Drake. Megan the Stallion. Because she's trending. She's trending. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Empty, stupid, savage. 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 I want to work with. Those are my new school people. Yeah, I, would, I just, I think that'd be a good mix. I would love that right there. Probably another, some more artists that I can't think of. There's probably way more artists that I can't even think of right now that I would just absolutely love to work with. So, you know. If you guys have any ideas of people you want me to work with, drop their names down so I can see what's going on. If you could describe your fans in one word, what would it be? My fans. My supporters. Because I really don't know if I like the word fans that much. But my supporters are... Oh. So my fans are loyal. I've literally been doing music so long. And I've been sending... And I'm talking about my real supporters. Like the people that I can call in my phone. Those are fans. To me... Those are supporters. Those are sisters. Those are people that are like family. You know what I'm saying? Because when a bitch is ready for a new sound to drop, they're right there like. <laughs> Those are my girls. And it's so important to me because I love connecting to them. I love reposting them. When they hear something, they like it, they comment, they text me, they inbox me. I screenshot and I share most most of that because I want the world to know these people love my music, okay? I made music with literally in my bedroom closet with my computer and my microphone with tracks that with tracks that I literally downloaded from YouTube. Okay? Those people were listening to my music when I literally had my USB microphone and I recorded my songs holding my microphone in my hand. The only reason I still do that today is when I make a demo and then I get ready to go through studio record. But at that time, I did that to make my songs. And that was it. So, you know what I mean? That was my foundation. I would send those airy-ass records to people, those recordings, to my fans. And I would say, yo, listen to my shit. This shit sounds good as fuck, dog, girl. They'll listen to it. They'll play that bitch in a car. When you gonna come out with a song? When you gonna do an album? Like, you really like, you really got something. Like, you really talented. Why don't you just make a fucking album? Okay, I can name them off off the back of my hand. Like my girl Simone. I would send her ass a record. Like, sis, listen to this. 
this girl would play it. I even made a song for her when she was just going through. I made a song for her, and she loved that song. That's a supporter. That's a genuine, heartfelt supporter. When you can connect with your fans, your supporters, the people who love your music, who love your voice, you got something because you're moving them. You can't make millions and millions and millions and do this and do that and be an artist if you can't move people, you can't encourage, inspire, you can't create something that women want to hear. Like, you have nothing without that. So I realized I realized how serious music was when I figured out, okay, my music can really help somebody. Feel what I'm saying? So when it comes to my music today, Shadow Session, S-H-A-A-D-O-H-S-E-S-S. I-O-N is my name. That is my birth name. I do have a single that is out right now that I wrote myself called Ride For You. This single is heartfelt, emotional, die hard. I'm that bitch and you broke my heart. Get yourself together, nigga. Do you hear me? available on all major platforms you can download my music on itunes amazon music google play spotify you can also follow me on social media facebook instagram snapchat at shadow session s-h-a-a-d-o-h-s-e-s-s-i-o-n definitely add me subscribe to me tell me you watched this video let me know how you feel about my music. Check it out. My song is called Ride For You. R-I-D-E-F-O-R letter U. Ride For You. You guys, I love you guys so much. Suicide has crossed my mind tonight. Fall in and out of love with you a million